Hey, what's up family? Today is January 28th, 2016 and it is 8.26 in the p.m. And I have come on to do a video for Ray J and Princess. So I'm hearing you guys are getting married and all that is all lovely and so grand. And I think you guys are one of the cutest couples ever. I really, really do. And y'all motherfuckers are going to get through so much. I really hope nothing for the best. But before we get into all of this, let me go ahead on and clear the room. Because there's some people in here that might not want to be in here on all this right here. Okay, so for those of you guys that can't handle it, can't handle no grown conversation, no grown folks talk, then therefore my ass that you ask the stage right, go and get out of this motherfucker. Because this is for the niggas that like to clown, get down on brown and put one in the air. If this ain't your shit, then I'm going to ask that you do it moving. You know what I'm saying? There it is there. Let the niggas out. Okay, now, what's happening? Y'all, y'all niggas, come on back in this motherfucker. Come on back up in this pee. Okay, now, girl, listen, princess, I'm going to start off with you. Because, you know what I'm saying, girls are always first. We come first. You know what I mean? It's about us. Girl, I'm so happy that you are engaged to be married with Ray. You know, Ray is a very handsome man, girl. He didn't already said he's 35 and, you know what I'm saying, and he, you know what I'm saying, he, on, he ready to turn that bass down. Because them niggas fuck turned up, them niggas was on bass. You understand me? Them niggas was on boom. Do you understand? And for... Him to be ready to throw in his cleats and turn his jersey around and say, I'm no longer playing. I'm ready to get my grown man on. Girl, I'm glad to say that, Mama, you made it through. You know what I mean? And a lot of women are waiting on their men to say, you know what, I'm tired. I'm ready to just be with you and all that other kind of shit, which means that he really want to do that. For him to confess his love out loud to everybody, for you... He means it. He really, really, mama, he means it. So accept it for what it is. He loves you. He's already, you know, you know, confessed that to the world and everybody knows it. So mama, you are that girl. You are her. You know what I mean? You are Miss Ray J. And that is so cool. All, it's going now, now let me tell you, there's always going to be bitches in the path, though, that's going to want to fuck your man. Let me just go and tell you that now. But one thing about coming into a grown woman, you already got to know that that is going to happen. You cannot be naive enough to know that this motherfucker right here, he ain't going to take some of that pussy sometime. Because that's who he is. You know, how you get him is how you lose him, and that's how, pretty much how it's going to go throughout the duration of the relationship. Until he decides that I'm not going to do this no more and you're going to decide that you're no, no longer going to continue to tolerate some of the bullshit that he has rendered, you know? So, but the thing is for him to put it out there before everybody ain't a bitch in the land not knowing now that you are the woman in his life and you are the one that he wants to be with. Oh, girl, done went and done got her little, you know what I'm saying, Nicki Minaj package and shit. I ain't mad at Tierra. I'm not mad at her. Let her do her. He's still going to probably go over there and try to hit that from time to time. Probably have already. You know what I'm saying? That's just some shit you don't know. You probably do know. Ain't none of my business. No way. You know what I mean? But he's a man, though. He's a man. And that's how he get down. That's how he roll. So it's always going to be some exotic bitch somewhere now. Okay? It's all That shit don't change, mama. They don't change their stripes. They simply change where they freed. And that is one thing that your girl will be able to tell you that you're going to be able to... Because let me tell you something. For the rest of your life, if nothing I ever say makes any sense, you must know that a man's weakness is a woman and a woman's weakness is always, always, always going to be materialistic shit. Now, our materialistic shit can go in a... It's a broad range. Okay, because some woman's materialistic shit is merely just going to go get her nails done. If this nigga just, if he can go get me a pedicure, girl, I'm fucking this nigga tonight. Okay, and she's comfortable and cool with that. That nigga done took her to Carl's Juniors after that, and she's cool. She done forgot all about it. He done fucked Brenda last week. She done let that go. That nigga done came through with $20, and shit is on. That's her level of materialistic shit. Then there's some bitches in the middle, the whereas he done came through with a dozen of roses. Suck the pussy before he dropped her off at work. He in her car, though. 
But he done dropped off, had some flowers and the shit delivered at work. You know what I'm saying? They got a little bit more money, a little bit more to work with than this nigga over here that gave up a dime bag of weed. You know what I mean? So that's her level of materialistic shit. Then there's the chicks in the other category where their men have more of a disposable income. Then they come through and buy canary diamonds and shit like on some old... You know, Kobe Bryant type shit, baby. I'm sorry I fucked this bitch down here in Colorado. I didn't mean to do it, but check this out. This is a canary, though. Nigga, this is rare. This is all this right here. You can't wear this everywhere. You know what I mean? And that's her level of materialistic shit. So when I say a man's weakness is a woman, a man's weakness, when it comes down to a woman, this bitch can have but three motherfucking teeth in her mouth. But if that bitch can suck a dick, uh, check this out, bitch. You finna do this right here in my car. Fuck finna take you in, bitch. You don't qualify for me to get no motherfucking room, bitch. If you don't go ahead on and handle this right here, now I'm gonna I'm go ahead and I'm gonna put this in park, bitch. Handle this so I can go ahead on give you this money to go get this motherfucking weed and uh get you some blunt wrappers and get the fuck out my car. And it, they don't have no feelings with it. They don't see a goddamn thing wrong with it. But they wired a little bit different than us because we fluffy, we soft, we handle our feelings a little bit differently, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, as long as you get to a point where you understand and you know that, you know, a man is just going to do him, that's just that's just what they're going to do until he get tired and say, you know what, bitch, I don't want to be with nobody, I want to be with you. You got to believe him, but you also got to be keyed into the fact that this motherfucker just might one day... But what's so cold about it, Ray J, you been responsible. You 35 years old and I now motherfucker have came out and said, you know what, that's my baby daddy and I am not mad at you. You been hanging with them niggas and y'all niggas been doing the utmost. Fuck too much, nigga. Y'all niggas been doing so much. Y'all been doing too motherfucking much. And I ain't mad at it. Carson, stand the fuck up. We had a barbecue stand across the street from motherfucking Scottsdale housing little subdivision over there. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking oil factory thing over there and shit. And right across the street was like a long strip mall, right? Reason why I know that because my parents had a little barbecue stand over there. Then they had the little bingo hall place where they played the bingo. Oh, yeah, nigga, I'm on all that. You know what I'm saying? So I know where you at. I know your stock. You got real cool ass parents. Your sister is cool as a motherfucker. You come from good people. You know what I'm saying? You know all that shit was on some bullshit. But hell, you have money. Your sister over here, I want to be down and all that old type of shit. Nigga, you have money coming in. Money, 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 money. You driving around cold ass motherfucking cars. Got a big dick. Look like how you looking like. Hell yeah, bitches was wanting to fuck. So you was having a good time. You know, your boys, they wasn't having what you was having. So hell, they was rolling with you. So then therefore, hell, you had no choice but to turn your shit up, nigga. Base, nigga. So you ain't do nothing but did what you, you didn't do nothing but what the rest of these niggas would really want to do. You was on some old Justin Bieber shit on some hood shit. You understand me? You were just out here having fun like Justin Bieber and the rest of these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? You just having fun like Chris Brown and these motherfuckers. I ain't mad at you. But now you to a point to where you're ready to slow this thing down and you're ready to be with this beautiful lady. And I'm not really mad at y'all. I really hope for the best with y'all. Really, I do. But Ray J, all I'm saying this right here, if you have no intentions on loving this woman past her motherfucking pain, if you have no intentions on ending this thing in some numptual and we're going to go head on and we on some old music soul child video I love you when you turn in gray and all that old type of shit. Then, nigga, don't ignite this shit in this woman when you have no intentions on loving her past her pain. Don't do that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because karma's a motherfucker, you know? And, yeah, you got the money to go out here and you got the money to show face on whatever you want to. You know, put put her in diamonds and this and that and this and this. And then you're able to do all that. You got the coin. But if you have no intentions on really loving her and really building with her, then don't 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 play no games, nigga. Because it's some real that snap shit is some real motherfucking shit right now. Motherfuckers is really, you know, losing their mind at a rapid rate. You know what I mean? So don't don't do that. Don't do that. Your father, you know what I'm saying, is 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 there loving and supporting your mom all these many years. So you done seen it done. You come from that. So nigga, don't 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 come out here. You know you got this beautiful lady and shit, and then you want to come out here and still be on some dumb shit, nigga. Don't do that. You know, don't do that. You know. Now, yes, 
And you know, you done had all, you done done all this and had all your motherfucking fun. And you know what I'm saying? You, you, you done made Kim and them famous. I got you, nigga. I'm on your side. Just don't hurt this lady because she really loves you. You know what I'm saying? And you done put this motherfucker through shit through Shinola. You know what I mean? All this shit been on TMZ. You know what I'm saying? On what the fuck y'all motherfuckers were down there caught up in and shit. But at the end of the day, you love her. You willing to profess that to everybody, nigga. Kudos to y'all motherfuckers. I really hope for the best, really. Bless their union, Father God. Yeah. I'm I really hope for the best on, on, on what y'all got going on. Real shit. But uh Princess, I'm gonna ask that you start putting some shit in your motherfucking name. Real shit. Don't have no baby by this motherfucker without them nuptials. Real shit. Because at the end of the day, you just baby mama. You don't wanna do that. You don't want to be having no babies and you ain't got no name yet because at the end of the motherfucking day, you want settlements. You don't want no motherfucking child support division all in your motherfucking business on this right here, nigga. We on, we are on some old taking percentage. You know? Fuck all that shit, nigga. You want, to, you want to be the wife. I had a baby by my husband. That type of old shit. That's what, that's what you need to be on. So I'm really, really hoping that you got the Nora Plant, the IUD, the Miranda, whatever the, your get down is, or Ortho Novum 777, whatever they got you on, continue to take that until this nigga done had y'all motherfucking ass jump the broom and all that shit. Really. Really. Don't, 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 don't do it, mama. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Even if you, you, you uh, you end up pregnant one month later. Don't start it off like that. Let this nigga go ahead and give you his name. You know what I'm saying? Become a motherfucking Norwood first before you get to do, doing all this right here. And then after that, mama let the good times roll. You in a whole different category. You ain't in, them, in the same category as these other bitches out here. You know what I'm saying? It's having babies by these niggas. You still ain't got no name. Bitch, now you in a baby mama category. This nigga can get on and move on. What's these niggas gonna do? Can do it any motherfucking way. Let's be clear. But... When he's the husband, it's only so much that motherfucker can really do. It's only so much that motherfucker can really do. And getting pussy ain't nothing but a thing. That's some old shit. That nigga, that's some old nigga. Please. They been fucking. Okay? Men been doing their thing. You understand me? That's how come them niggas found out that cotton was soft, you know? Niggas been fucking. Okay? So let's be clear on that. But you do need to start getting some shit in your name. Don't allow this motherfucker to pay for everything. Y'all riding with this show? Allow that show to handle some of your motherfucking business, mama. Real shit. Get that name first. Get that wife first. So in case the shit go kabooey, then therefore, when you you already stayed in California, you already know how California get down. Ray, I know I'm telling the business, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, but I'm putting her up on game. You know, I put in 20 on mine, so I already know. And I know how the end results end up when you did it right. Okay, don't get your motherfucking ass out here and get to having babies and shit and ain't got no motherfucking name. And then all you getting is a percentage of this motherfucking income for a few motherfucking, because that 18 come quick. Not when you're the wife, though. It, 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 it far surpasses that 18. Okay, when you have been the wife. Don't get caught up in that trick bag, mama. Get that name first. And then you can go ahead and come out with Junior and the twins and all that other kind of shit. And let them motherfuckers catapult that shit over to y'all own show. But now you're going to have to start being a businesswoman. Not just a pretty woman. Be that pretty businesswoman. Start getting something for you. Go back to school. Go get your shit. If you need to get your GED. I don't know, I don't know where you are scholastically. But right now, you're having fun. You on this shit like Kevin Hart uh, woman is. Y'all motherfuckers on hoverboards and rolling through and y'all keep teeing and shit. That's cool. But, nigga, at the end of the motherfucking day, you want me, all this other kind of shit, give me that motherfucking name. Now we can go head on. We can fly to friendly skies, nigga. You want to go to Dubai, nigga? Let's go to Dubai, nigga. Yeah. You want me to roll with you all over the world and all that, nigga? Let's roll, nigga. School over. Yeah. But you're going to have to get that name first. You got to get that name, mama. Quit bullshitting. Get that name. Fuck the big-ass wedding and shit. You know what I'm saying? The big-ass wedding. Because let me tell you something. Big-ass wedding sometimes equal big-ass problems. You know, and motherfuckers are so caught up with the day. Oh, I want this dress. Vera Wang. I want this. I want that. Sharosky that. This, this. But you get lost in the sauce thinking about the day. You're so caught up on the day. Have you a badass party. You understand what I'm saying? But it's your first one. I can't tell you what to do. You know what I'm saying? I had a big wedding too. 
But the thing is, though, don't push that big, that shit back so far. Oh, well, we're going to be engaged for 15 months. We're going to be engaged for two years. Why? When you got the money already. Pfft, what? Nigga, let's go on down to the Justice of the motherfucking peas. Go get this motherfucking name right here. Let's get this. Let's get these documents. Let's get this stamp on this shit. Stamp this right here. You know what I'm saying? Then... Hey, y'all can motherfucker. Hey, y'all can do get rent out motherfucking yacht off off of Marina Del Rey. Y'all niggas can do y'all shit all the way live. The Kardashians ain't got no problem with going ahead on setting it off in the middle of the water. You know what I mean? Y'all go ahead and have this lavish lavish ass motherfucking party and all this other kind of shit, nigga. We done done eyes merit now. You know what I mean? Mama get that name. Fuck the dumb shit. You done been through shit that shot know This motherfucker done put you to the window to the wall. You understand me? Get that motherfucking name and quit bullshitting. And then start getting some of this shit in your motherfucking name. Allow money them. If they, these motherfuckers gonna have y'all out here looking crazy, fighting bitches and all this and cussing and all this shit all on, on national motherfucking TV, girl, hey, get you some money in the kitty. Go and take your ass down there to Chase and get your motherfucking bank account to the side. You know what I'm saying? To handle your expenditures to where you can still go down and go get the what the fuck you want to go get. Because this right here, this came from the coin I'm making. Now, yeah, we have our joint account, but I also got this right here. He ain't got to know about your shit on the side. You might not know what he got on the side. You know what I mean? But you still got to have that joint account <clears throat> that you're going to pay your mortgage. Southern California Edison, which is your lights, your water bill, your rubbish bill, all that shit. You got to have your joint account for that because, see, he needs to see that you are responsible. He needs to see that you ain't got the accountant out here uh, writing checks out. You paying your bills, you, you handling all of this. So he see, you know what, damn, she can take care of home. She's just a domesticated motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of women ain't on that. A lot of women can't take care of home. Mama, you need to just take care of home. I'm going to ask that you open up your Bible, go to Proverbs 31. That's what's going to tell you what you need to be and what you need to be doing as a woman. We fall short from it. I fall short from it all the time. But I go back to Proverbs 31 and when I need to get on track on what it is that I really need to be doing and how I really need to be walking in purpose and what I need to be doing as a woman, go back to Proverbs 31. My mama asked that you look it up so you can figure out what it is that you really, really, really supposed to do. You, you're going to fall short. You know, you're going to make some mistakes. There's going to be some pebbles in the path of your progress. The path of your progress. There's going to be some things happen. There's going to be some loops, some turns and turnarounds. There's going to be peaks and valleys. All that, okay? But when you are the wife, you are, you are just handled with a different set of gloves. Don't be the baby mama. Don't do it, mama. Don't do it. Get that name. He loves you. He's already confessing that to everybody. Girl. All I can say is the best of luck to y'all. Y'all gonna have some beautiful babies because you are such a beautiful young lady, you know? And it was like every time I was watching the show, I didn't watch it that often because I couldn't get down with beautiful girls just on here fighting and shit, you know? I was cool with y'all making y'all money. Y'all supposed to make y'all money. These motherfuckers want to have these cameras running around y'all motherfucking that Girl, you better get every motherfucking thing you want. You want Brazilian butt lifts. You want this and this. You want teeth. You want that. You want the girl. Get it all right now. Get it all right now. Now, so when you're in your 40s and you're a seasoned vet like me, you done got all this shit done, nigga, you woke up like this. You know what I mean? You woke up like this. You ain't got to put on all that bullshit. You ain't got to have all that shit. You can dial it all down, turn it all the way down, turn it off. Because at the end of the motherfucking day, when I just, I'm bare, I'm still bad. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm bare, but I'm still bad. That's you. I'm so happy for you, girl. I wish nothing for the best for you. I don't want nothing from you. I don't need you to send a car for me or do nothing for me. All I'm saying is, girl, walk in your purpose. Enjoy this time. Enjoy this man. Have the best sex ever. Girl, a lot of girls want to be you right now. A lot of girls really want to be you right now. You are in a good space. Enjoy it. I love you, girl. All right. Bye, Ray J. You guys have a good one.